and today is Tuesday, January 23rd. If you're watching this live, let me know if you can hear me. Okay, I can see y'all. Hi there. I am doing okay. Hi there. Okay, so you guys can hear me okay? Perfect. Okay, so we'll give everybody about a minute to get in here. Um, I just realized right as I was going live that I don't have my box template here on my desk. It has been a crazy, crazy, crazy day. Um, so I'm going to have to remake my template. I, I, I swear I think it's right in front of my face, but I don't see it. So while we're waiting for everybody to get here, um, I'm going to go ahead and remake this template so that I don't mess up. I am doing okay. I'm a little nervous. I have my CAT scan tomorrow. Um, so yes, I'm a little bit nervous. Well, you know what? Maybe I won't make the template. I can I can pull up the template on my computer and, and see it from here. How are y'all doing? I'm happy to say that it is finally above freezing. Finally. Um, yeah, finally above freezing. But only barely. It's 37. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the link up for the live chick candy. Here's the link. Um, all the entries that were there previous have been removed. And then I'm going to show you uh, what um, the live one is tonight. So we're keeping it simple. I have two packs of the most adored sample pack of designer series paper two packs of the Flight and Airy, and then two packs of the Be Mine. So what is that? That's six packs of paper that I'm gonna be giving away tonight. I'm keeping it super simple tonight because I'm still working on the D-Stash shipment. Um, Diana was here yesterday and got a lot knocked out, but we are still working on it, yeah. Um, let's see, I can't see y'all's comments again. Where'd y'all go? Vicki, uh, I'm going to send them to you for free. I meant to send you an email, but I forgot. Yeah. Oh, the charts are ready. So this was one of the subjects I was going to talk about tonight. Uh, let me, let me um, make this smaller. And then um, I need to pin the live chick candy link over on um, YouTube, Command C. Let me go over there real quick. I am not firing on all cylinders. I think I pretty much have said that for the last six live videos, and it is so true. I am not. Okay, so here goes Command V, and then I'm gonna pin that to the top. Okay, pin message. Okay, so for those of you um, that just arrived, the link for the live chick candy uh, just got posted. <laughs> yes, David has uh, re recovered from, can I just tell y'all that there was like a total of 16 pages of names. I can't believe he didn't kill me that night. I had no idea what I was doing to him. So we've learned um, that next time we're going to have more D stash sales, but we're going to make them a little bit smaller because that was a lot of work for him. And we've also decided that, um, next time maybe he's going to show y'all the product and then, um, I'm going to write the names. <laughs> I still can't believe he did that and that we're still married. That was hilarious. Uh, can I pin the chick candy in the chat? Okay, I just did. So that's there. So now um, 
onto the paper charts. They have been posted on my blog. Um, they were actually ready like Thursday or Friday, uh, but I just didn't have a chance to actually do a blog post. Um, so I, what I did was I combined all the mini catalog with the celebration. If you've never printed um, these charts, you have two choices. You can print the blank ones and you can cut your squares of paper, a one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, and you can make your own charts. They look beautiful in person. I know a lot of you guys like to just print my scanned copy. It's, the scan's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. And I really do use these charts a lot when I'm um, designing. So here's the, the celebration ones. I added SAB for celebration. We have a lot of celebration paper this year, right? Okay, so that's all the celebration. And then here's um, the rest of them. So this is a free printable over on my website. I uh, posted it about five o'clock today. If you're on, if you're, if you're, if you watch my uh, Facebook business page, I actually posted it. Um, I think Friday, maybe third, maybe Friday. Yeah. So that is ready for y'all. Any question? Oh, so did I make my goal? Oh no. Uh, in fact, <laughs> if y'all want to talk about the D stash sale for just a few minutes, I way undercharged on the shipping. Uh, I knew I was undercharging, but I didn't realize how much I was undercharging. So some notes for uh, next time, I'm gonna have to charge a little bit more shipping. Um, and then um, I'm, I think I'm at, um, I'm about a third of the way to my goal. So I'm gonna need to do two or three more to reach my goal, but I knew that. Like I had a spreadsheet of what, I was selling and so I already knew that I wasn't going to reach my goal on one D stash sale. Um, but I also didn't anticipate, um, there were a lot of boxes that cost $13 to ship. I thought they were going to be more like eight or nine. Um, but yeah, there was, and that's not even the most expensive. So anyway, I'm not complaining. I learned a lot. We had a lot of fun. And now I have notes for the next one. We are going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing more of those. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Yvette says she loves my copies because she adds a circle to the coordinating cards like at the bottom. And that's, a, that's something I've thought about adding over the years. Um, but this document was designed like so long ago that I'm, I gotta be like really my brain. Oh no. What just happened? That's really weird. Are y'all still there? My phone just made a noise. Hopefully y'all are still there. Um, did y'all hear that noise? No, Debbie, don't you worry about it on the shipping. That's very nice of you to say that, but absolutely not. That was my trial, and I've learned from it, and it's okay. Yeah, in fact, I knew going into it that I was taking a chance. I'm okay with that, but thank you for offering. That's very nice of you. I was undercharging because here's the thing, Debbie. I have a lot of retired product. And, and so my options are, and I have some schools that I've donated to, I have some charities I donate to, but the reality is, is I have more than they can even accept. So I, my choices are give it to Goodwill or sell it really cheap, but it's all got to go because I'm not going to allow this house to turn into our last house where I had just containers and containers and containers of product that was retired. So I'd rather give it or sell it to y'all for a very affordable price, right? Um, no, I don't think my battery's going dead. I mean, I don't think so because y'all can still see my hands. And um, yeah, I don't, who knows? No, you guys are fine. Next time, we'll probably just charge everyone a flat rate priority mail shipping charge. And then, like David and I said, um, 
if no one reaches that priority mail charge and we can just send it in a four dollar envelope then we'll refund that part of the shipping so going forward we'll probably just charge everyone the priority mail and then just do a refund yeah uh do i still have wooden stamps i do not those departed now i have wooden stamps that i'm keeping forever like the uh what what is that called i can't see it from here wish i had binoculars it's like dragons and something i have some old sets i'll never part with yeah um let's see i'm sorry some of y'all missed it too yeah um if you think that you uh, so debbie says she hasn't got an invoice debbie if you're positive that you got something um shoot me an email because here's the thing i have about 10 people that i have not invoiced maybe more because i don't they didn't fill out my dstash form or their youtube screen name is something completely different than their real name so i don't look there's several names that i'm like i don't know who you are because we can't find that information out like when i'm looking at all y'all's names right now everybody's pretty much their name uh, and Jasmine, I'm so happy that you emailed me because you got your invoice, uh, but I didn't know who you were, right? So yeah, there were some people that I I have no way of contacting. Uh, one of the names was C Crafts. So whoever C Crafts is, you didn't fill out my D-Stash form and I have no idea who you are. So um, all the items that sold to people that I don't know who you are, they're just going to get put right back in the tub for the next sale. Yeah. Okay. We have rattled on long enough. I've been talking now for 13 minutes. So we're going to make this cute, cute box. And uh, inside here, it will hold a lot of different things. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab these. So that way we can knock this up before we get started um okay so it opens up like this i'm using a velcro to keep it closed and it will hold i know this is this is pumpkin sorry i don't have a valentine one um it will hold the russell stover's candies very well same thing with the goo goo cluster and i'm about ready to eat this thing in fact david the other night almost ate it during the d stash sale and i'm like dude you already ate yours that's mine it'll also hold a kit kat perfectly it'll hold two of those actually it'll hold the sweethearts these box of sweethearts it's a little bit big but you know you could throw like a ghirardelli chocolate in there um and then it'll also hold the walker shortbread It'll hold several of the little snack size candies and it will hold, yeah, it'll hold the biscotti too. Of course, there's extra room in there. Okay, so I've given y'all lots and lots of ideas. I forgot to take the measurements of it. Let's see. It measures, this. that's, what's, that's another benefit of this glass mat. Um, so if you're thinking about becoming a demonstrator, you get this for free when you buy the starter kit. So it measures three inches by four inches, and it is an inch deep, okay? And I'll look back for, oh, where did my comments go? Where'd y'all go? Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. I gotta find y'all. Um, mm, help, comments, search comments. Okay, there y'all are. Oh my gosh, you don't know what a Google cluster is? <laughs> um, well, I don't really know how to explain it, but they are made in Tennessee, uh, which is where I'm from. When I was there earlier in December, uh, we went into this really awesome shop. Um, and David and I both got one. And I saved mine to, to use in the boxes. They have the, Their main one was peanut, but... Who doesn't love pecans better than peanuts, right? You'll have to find one. They're so good. Uh, Jamie, it's okay if you drop something on your mat. It's pretty resilient. It's really thick glass. I think you're going to be fine. Yeah, use it, girl. Um, okay. 
what am I what am I gonna do? Let's stamp first. So uh, I always like to use the stamp set that we focus on for stamp for card club, and so the um, what's the name of this? The Be My Valentine was our bundle. Oh, I gotta remove the the live chick candy. Sorry about that. Um, so this was our bundle focus for this month, January. The cows are going to be for February. I sent y'all an email today. Um, so I always like to do a couple additional projects so that y'all can get your money's worth out of purchasing the bundle. So this is one of the, um, <laughs> it's called Goo Goo, Goo Goo Cluster. <laughs> I'm laughing at y'all. Uh, so uh, you know what? If y'all have Cracker Barrel, I think that, um, I think, Cracker Barrel sells these, yeah. Yes, and the vellum is to block the glare from my lights, because look, look at that. My two, my track lighting and my recess lighting. So the vellum hides it perfectly. And it's better than a big old piece of white paper there, right? Yeah, so I just have them strategically placed to cover up the bulbs, which works fine, right? Yeah, well, the mat is 17 by 14, but the measurements on the glass um, is 13 by 13, okay? So 13 inches is up here, and 13 is down. Well, y'all can't see my finger down here, but on this side. So over here, yeah, top and bottom. Although we have this section here that you can actually uh, write on. So, for example, if you wanted to use your um your stampin blend markers you can now i know this is a stampin blend marker which is an alcohol based and if i had my chamois um if i had my chamois wet i could use it but i don't have it wet it's and if you can't get it off with your um chamois all you got to use is hand sanitizer and it wipes up everything everything okay hand sanitizer i know a lot of y'all have san hand sanitizers <gasps> okay so dolores says she's rooting for the chiefs however they will have to pick up their game against the ravens i know but you know what like i told david because david kept saying that the bills were gonna they were gonna beat us and i'm like dude do not write us out we can rise to the occasion i'm also of the belief that don't put it out there in the universe because then it'll happen. So the whole time we were watching the Chiefs on Sunday, David was not thinking we were going to win. And I'm like, dude, we're winning. And then right before uh, Travis Kelsey got a touchdown, I'm like, okay, it's time for that dude to get a touchdown. And literally like four minutes later, he got a touchdown. Okay. Um, Y'all can tell I could rattle on for hours tonight. Look, so we're going to stamp. Go to Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Crack, Cracker Barrel. Um, is there a secret message behind my head? Is there? What's behind my head? Oh, maybe I should co co come over here. Is that better? Is that less distraction? <laughs> um, does the glass get your fingerprints all over it? Well, I don't think so. No, it doesn't. I mean, it might, but it comes with this wonderful chamois that is walled up, wadded up in a ball right now. You have to wet it. Like I said, mine's not wet right now. Um, and it's perfect for wiping it down. <laughs> um, let's see. What am I going to say? There was something else I was going to say. What is on my desk now? Looks like a bit of honey. It is. That was when David was in here on Friday. He was over there in the corner writing y'all's names down, and he was eating bits of honey. And if you don't know what a bit of honey is, man, you better run to the, you better run to the store now because those things are yummy. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the B on this piece here and I'm gonna warn you that my Daffodil Delight ink pad and I think I said this in every card club video for this stamp set 
my my ink pad is defective. I need a new one. And of course, I placed an order the other day and forgot to add it on there. So I'm just going to warn you. It's it's gnarly. It I need a new one. And a re-inking ain't going to fix it. Yeah. I want to see the lions and the chiefs too. Yeah. Let's put that in the universe. Come on. Okay, there's that part. And I can close that ink pad up. That's the last time I need that one. And then we need this image. Oops. I need to re-ink my memento ink. Okay, then I'm going to use, um, well, here's what I'm going to do. I like to cut out the B first before I put the face on it. And I'm, and I'm doing that because when I was making my card club cards, <laughs> I put I stamped the face on going the wrong direction so it had I had an upside down bees. This their face was upside down. So I'm like punch the bee out and then add the face because you know you can have it going this way or you can have it going this way. But if you put the face in the wrong direction, then it's going to be upside down. So that's my little tip is that just stamp the face after you've punched it out. That way it won't be in the wrong spot. Yeah, I was kind of embarrassed. I was like, okay, I did it multiple. I made a mistake multiple times, not just one, but multiple. It's like, oh gosh. Okay, hopefully I stamp those in the right position. I'm not totally sure. Okay, there's the wings. And then the, I need to cut this. I think that's good enough yeah if y'all hear the little um like ticking noises it's the uh the snow is finally melting off the house and um it's running down the gutter and making a terrible racket in here we have one more thing to stamp but we got a die cut the circle first. So we're using the Everyday Detail dies. Um, we are using these dies next month with our cow, our cow, cutest cows. Yeah. I'm gonna get my little mini machine. Fifty-five where you are. Goodness gracious. Yes, you can use the glass mat as a cutting mat. You can take your X-Acto knife and you can cut right on it. Yes, you sure can. I think I should, didn't I show that in my video? Or maybe I didn't because maybe I didn't have my X-Acto knife with me. But yeah, you can use it to cut. Absolutely. Okay, here's our circle that we're going to be stamping on. Oops. Okay, let's get the mat and then if I would clean my die out, it, these wouldn't get stuck. Um, if you look at my die, <laughs> I've used it a bunch of times and I haven't got those out. I need to get my brush. Whoa, come back here. Can I show y'all a little handy tool? 
Um, Lisa, one of my fellow demonstrator friends, sent this to me many, many, many years ago. Lisa, if you're watching this video, I've kept it. Uh, this will pick up your dye for you. So if you've got uh, powder on your nails like I do, and you find things difficult to pick up, uh, you can use, this is a canning. You use it for canning, and it picks up the lids when you're canning. Anywho. Okay. Let's stamp our image. Oh, we got to stamp the face on the B too, don't we? I forgot about that. And let's bring the B back over here. And the B is going this direction. I got so much stuff on my desk right now, it's crazy. When is the sun coming back? Ain't that the truth? Every morning, I'm telling you, if I wasn't going to Aruba in the very near future, I would be in a deep, deep depression. I absolutely hate this weather. I, I don't I don't know how people... Yeah, I told David, I'm like, I'm already ready to be a snowbird. Like, I just can't take it. And my body hurts. I know young people don't have that problem, but eventually you'll all get there, right? You'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this B. Um, what am I using? My silicone craft sheet with some liquid glue, just a smear, and then I'm going to just swipe on. When I was doing this in my card club video, I couldn't even find my words. Um, so swipe on some liquid glue, give it a second to dry, and then same thing with the antenna. I got afraid that I actually called that an, an antler. I didn't, but I thought I did for a second. And then I'm going to put um, dimensionals on the back. I'm going to put two. Okay, now let's, we got all of our images ready. So now let's make our box. I'm going to put the measurements on the screen. And on the eight and a half inch side, I'm going to score it at a half an inch, three and a half, four and a half, and seven and a half. And then on the eight inch side, okay, did, oh goodness gracious. It's been a while since I've done that. I gotta get another piece of paper. Huh, that's a messed up piece. Sorry guys. I actually cut that um, the wrong measurement. Hmm. So it measures eight and a half by eight. So I'm going to cut it at eight inches because the other side is already eight and a half. Okay, let's do that again. I had the ability to rewind. So on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to score at a half an inch, three and a half, four and a half, and seven and a half. 
on the eight inch side, I'm gonna score at one inch, five inches, and six inches. We're gonna fold on the score lines. Okay, that light is shining right on my forehead. Um, what is going on with the light? Well, y'all just gonna have to... <laughs> Sorry, I just looked up and saw myself and I'm like, oh okay, gosh, I've got two lights right on my head. Focusing on my, on my bun. Um, okay, so I'm burnishing with my bone folder and then we're going to cut it. I don't have my template here in front of me, so I've got to pull it up. Did I do all of them? Nope, one more. Okay. Okay, Sarah says this weather makes, makes her feel lethargic. I feel the same way. Yes. Debbie says she hates winter with a passion. See, we're all we're all the same way, right? Yeah, I hate it. And that's a bad word to say. So sorry if a child is watching. I used to always tell my kids to never say they hated something. But when you're talking about bad weather, <laughs> you have permission, right? <laughs> okay, so you have this half inch side over here. It's the only half inch side, right? Oh my goodness, Tina says it's supposed to get 80 tomorrow. You must be in California. Oh, grr. Um, <laughs> Sarah, you're funny. Okay, so I'm going to cut up to that second score line. And then down here, I'm going to cut up to that first score line. And that's where we're at at the moment. Okay. Now we're going to cut to the second score line on each of these lines. There will be a box template and you know I said it's going to be available tomorrow but I will tell you that um, oh, the, the, I have to, the CAT scan tomorrow is different because I've never had to do this before. Um, I have to not only get contrast in my IV, but I have to drink contrast too. So um, I can't eat or drink anything after a certain time tomorrow. So I'm kind of, um, I'm a little bit nervous to be honest. Okay, so here's what it looks like before we do some major cutting. So on this piece here, I'm going to cut that. And this one here, I'm going to cut all the way across. I'm holding this at a weird angle because of the lights up above. I don't I think I think what happened is is I moved my island during the D-stash sale or before the sale because I had like this big shelf over here. This is not my normal position. I'm normally a foot and a half over closer over to the right, which will put me in between lights instead of directly under them so it's not only shining on my head but also <laughs> my project okay i gotta trim this tab too now one more thing for this part and then we can go down to the bottom of the box so i'm rounding the edges the corners corner rounder and now down at the bottom all we need to do is trim these two tabs which my template will say angle cut angle cut oh there went that noise again I wonder what that is I have no idea are y'all still there? I'm really wondering now. Yeah, it says I'm still live. Okay, I don't know why my phone keeps making noises. Did y'all hear it? Okay, I'm gonna stop dilly-dallying because maybe something is going on with my phone. Y'all heard the beep? 
I have no clue what's going on. It's never done that before. Okay, we're gonna peel the backing off, fold this over. And then this is the front bottom of our box. So we're gonna put tear and tape on that as well. Oh, I did that the wrong way. Oh, no, I didn't. I don't know why I said that. I did it the perfect the perfect way. <laughs> now, I'm going to put something in here because that kind of makes it easier to... Actually, I put a chick stand in there earlier because that's the perfect um, thing to do for us to add our Velcro dot. So we're going to add this piece here with liquid glue. Uh, it sounds like the noise for when I turn on this software that I use to stream live. That's the noise it makes when I am about to, when I turn on my phone. So that's why it scared me because I'm like, okay, if it makes that sound when it's turning on, um, does that mean it's turning off? So we need to round these two corners. Oh, okay, liquid glue again. Okay, now the sides. Oh, and I forgot I still have the measurements up. I do that every time. Sorry, guys. I need a... Maybe that ding should have, maybe that little ding was telling me to remove the measurements. <laughs> and then we're going to add up at the top this, whoops. The bees are so cute. Uh, Karen, if you want me to re-invoice you those for the for the chick stand bundle, I'm sorry about that. Poor David wrote so many he wrote so many names down, and I'm sorry that he he did make some mistakes and we didn't catch all of the chick stand orders. Uh, but if you'll send me an email, I would be happy to to invoice you that for for the uh, for the bundle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he did a fabulous job. We, I really, <laughs> I, I say I can't believe he didn't kill me. I just had no idea he was going to be having to write so many names, which I, I don't know what I was thinking because I should have known based on the product that, that Diane and I pulled. But, you know, until you do something, you don't really know. <laughs> You don't know all the, the pros and cons. And as he was writing down, you know, what was it? We had 40 of the adhesive bundles. We had 29 of the sunshine and rainbow paper. That poor man. <laughs> oh, I owe him big time. my friend well Diana she says my husband would have never done that she's like he would he would have laughed okay so I'm gonna get the uh, velcro dot to hold this down so that we make sure that we uh, put it in the right location um, where's my little scissors I'm just gonna cut this these are three eighths three eight three eight inch <laughs> I can't talk And I'm going to put it on the top up here first. Smoosh. Okay, hold that for a second. <laughs> you 
He was a champ, wasn't he? Okay. So I'm going to put adhesive only on the top part because you want to be able to open your box. So if you put it at the bottom, then you're not going to be able to, <laughs> to open your box. Okay, we'll hold that a second and let it dry. Yes, and you can use magnets. Uh, more and more uh, people um, have pacemakers, so I've tried to be aware of that. Um, in fact, my dad has a pacemaker. One of my good friends, her, her dad has a pacemaker. Um, so, yeah, I, I bounce back and forth between the two, but lately I've been using more Velcro dots than, than magnets. Okay, now... We're going to add our B, and then we're going to add our embellishments. So I can close this up. Uh, if you didn't get an invoice, um, you can still get in on the... If you didn't get an invoice and you didn't get anything, you can still get the, the chick stand bundle. Yeah, we'll still honor that. Because um, David... I, David kind of ran out of steam on at on, on doing those. Yeah, so um yeah, I'm so sorry. He just kind of ran out of steam on writing the name. So I was I had some people email me when they got their invoice and said, "Okay, the the chick stand bundle's not on there. Can I have it?" I'm like, "Yep, absolutely." And I uh, edited the invoice. Um and some of y'all I missed completely. So sorry. Yeah, he uh you should see the pages of, of, of names he wrote down. I don't even know how he did it, to be honest. <laughs> All you can do is laugh. Well, I got that a little higher. There we go. Oh, I was like looking for my chick stand to put my paper piercer in, but um, it's inside the box, so... Okay. Oh, wait. Cute, right? Uh, yes. So Sue Ann's husband has a pacemaker and a defibrillator. Um, so yeah, you can't use magnets. Um, yeah, we don't know that information until, um, until you know someone that has one, right? Yeah, I didn't know either until my dad got one. And then I remember when we had the Stamparatus and there was a warning about people with pacemakers. Uh, the Chick Stand Bundle was a pack. Oh, let me show you. I will tell you. Um, I'm going to, I'll post the link for y'all if you want to get it. Um I'm going to remove it from my shop on Friday. So it'll be up for a couple more days. And then after that, uh, it's going to go back to the regular price. So I'll get you the link for these. Let's see. Chick stand bundle. Let me get my. So it's three chick stands in this little bag. Chick stand bundle. Here we go. Um, chick stand bundle copy because this is quite the deal okay and just a little reminder if you click on that link after Friday it will be gone from my store because I'm only going to honor it for until Friday uh, you don't even need an invoice to do the chick stand bundle you can just use that link and order it right from my blog yeah Okay, y'all ready to do the uh, live prizes? I'm going to put this here, this here, and then um, let me go ahead and show you the winner from last week's, um, last week's uh, YouTube Chick Candy. Uh, no, that's today's. Hold on. Where's the winner? Okay. So here's our winner for last week, the YouTube Chick Candy. It was the Valentine Known Fabric Basket. 
the Brights Designer Series Paper, Stampin' Dimensionals, and Liquid Glue. So congrats, Rayleigh. You are the winner. Uh, if you don't want that gnome fabric basket, let me know. Uh, lots of people would be happy to take it off your hands. So yeah, let me know um, if you don't want it, okay? So now this week's YouTube Chick Candy is going to be um, the Detailed Dogwood Stamp Set. And then, so normally my samples of paper that I give away every week, normally they have six pieces. They're six by six. They're six pieces. We're giving away two, four, six. We're giving away six of those tonight. In these packets, there's actually 12 pieces that measure six by six. So the YouTube Chick Candy is the... Um, Do detailed dogwood stamp set the be mine designer series paper the flight and airy and the most adored yes i haven't created those labels yet since i wasn't able to do paper shares this time i don't have my labels made but i gotta work on that the way to enter to win that is you just leave a comment um on this video when it ends so the chat box doesn't count because I can't contact you. I can't draw a winner from it or anything. So uh, when the video is over, the chat, the uh, comment section will open up. And then next Tuesday, I'll select the winner. I just use Comment Picker and it goes through all the comments and picks the winner for me. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to remove that. And we're going to go ahead and draw the six winners. Um, I've got to stop the form so I'm gonna go shut it down and uh, where is that at hmm let's see I have to think about it for a second so the form is over on my blog I'm gonna log in I'm gonna copy and paste the names and then um, okay I'm going to forms and I'm going to import export 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 and live chick candy with chicken scratch the name and the email and the comment and then download and this is live chick candy I'm gonna put the date here so that I'll make sure I pull the right one two no one two three that's the date one two three right save and now I'm going to copy and paste and share my screen. Did y'all know that today's date is one, two, three? <laughs> um, okay. Wheel of names. And then now I'm going to share my screen. Screen share. Okay. Can y'all see my screen? I'm wondering, did y'all know that today's date is... Oh, hold on. Let me go close. Okay. Perfect. I want y'all to be able to hear the spinner. I like this spinner. Uh, hey, why didn't it work? Here we go. Winner number one is going to get the Be Mine. I need a pen. Congrats. Deborah Mackey. And I'll recap these in just a minute. Okay, the next one is going to be the Flight and Airy. Wow, Lainey, you won the other night too. Now I can ship both of your prizes together. So Lainey Rector won the Flight and Airy paper. The next one is going to be the Most Adored. Linda, or is it Lydia? Lydia, Lydia. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. So sorry. I'd rather just write it. Congrats to you as well. Now we're going back to the Be Mine. 
because we got two of each pack. Christina. Christina got quite the box yesterday shipped. I think we shipped yours yesterday. Did you get a shipping notification? Congrats. Now we're doing Flight and Airy again. Tammy, I recognize your name from the other night as well. And the last one is Most Adored. <laughs> Bonnie, you've won multiple times too. Congrats, Bonnie. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and then recap the winners. Let's see, screen share. Is it gone? Okay. So, here we go. Let's recap. Uh, Bonnie got the most adored paper. Tammy got the flight and airy. And I do need, I do need y'all to um, claim your chick candy. Um, yes, it would be so helpful if you could give me your addresses because it makes it easier for me to delegate if I can just send her the form with the address and then she doesn't have to go look it up. Um, Christina got the uh, Be Mine. Lydia got the Most Adored. Lainey got the Flight and Airy. And Deborah, you got the Be Mine. Congrats to all of y'all. Uh, I have not shipped last week's winners. I have not shipped last week's. So if you won something last week, I've not shipped it yet. Sorry, I'm still playing catch up. Um, but I'm getting very close to being caught up on some things. Maybe not email. I don't think I'm ever going to be caught up on email. Uh, the link to the chick stand is here in the comments. Let's see. I can um, I can post the link again. Let's see. Chick stand bundle, command C, and command V. Oh, I gotta get hit, hit enter. <laughs> there you go. Um, Cliffy, you won something. You did win something. And if you'll notice, I have not posted a new chick candy since that day. What has that been? Like three weeks? Um, Yvette wants to know where I'm buying my machine from. We have um, a local store that, um, that the reason, so a lot of people were talking about their machines and their preferences uh, for embroidery machines. There's a local company here. They have two stores actually, and I went into both of their stores. So I am getting it locally here from Missouri So. Missouri Sew, Missouri Sewing Company. Yeah, they send me emails uh, every month, but they're local. Um, not that the brother dealer isn't local too. W because I'm right here by Missouri, there's lots of quilt shops. So there's just about every brand that I could buy. But because I'm really into that Kimberbell stuff, I want, I want, I want the one that they use. Yeah, because that's primarily what got me interested. So, yeah, Missouri Sewing Company, but it's going to be a few months. I got to do a two, at least two more D-Stash sales, maybe three or four. Uh, please consider selling just the online content of your card club. Don, I have considered that, and I'll tell you why I don't. Um, the reason why I don't sell that tutorial is because... Um, other people will purchase it and then make the projects public knowledge. And then my club members can't feel special. So that doesn't give them any exclusive projects to make. Because once I sell a tutorial, it's all over the internet. Because people share the tutorials. Even though you say don't share the tutorial, people share the tutorial. Um, so that's the biggest reason why I don't do it is because my club ladies spend 
a lot of money with me every month. And so I want them to feel special. I want them to know how much I appreciate them. And, and I'm afraid that if I, if that, if that's not the case, then they could just go to anybody. You know what I mean? And maybe I'm not looking at it the right way, but I'm no spring chicken. So everyone that sticks with me, cause I know people go on to younger and people that are way more productive than me and it happens. It's happening. Um, everybody's going to age. Everybody's going to get there. But I know I'm not the best choice anymore. And so I just really want the, my people that choose me to really know how much I appreciate them. And by keeping that product or projects exclusive to them only, I hope that makes them feel special. Yeah. So sorry, went into a long explanation, but that is really the... The reason why I do that. Okay, thank y'all so much for the prayers for tomorrow. Yes, I'm terrified of drinking the contrast. I've had the IV contrast a lot, but I've never drank the contrast too. So they're doing both. Um, so I don't know what we're wishing for tomorrow. Do we wish that the mass on my kidney is grown? Do we wish it's the same? I don't know. If it's grown at all, they're gonna re we're gonna have it removed. If it's the same, then I have a decision to make. What am I going to do? Am I going to wait again and have another CAT scan in six months or three months? I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking positive, but I kind of want it out of me because once you've had cancer, you kind of fear. What is it my sister calls it? We have cancer hyperchondria. Is that what you say? Yeah, once you have cancer, you never, you always or just anticipating for the next time to get cancer, right? Um, oh, thank y'all. Oh, thank you, Lori. I love hearing that. I try to make, I try to make it, I really want y'all to know how much I appreciate you choosing me. I know there's lots of options out there, lots of people. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. I love the projects that I, that I display for you guys every month, like, Next month's cards, the cows, they're so cute. You're going to love them if you like cows, if you like the cutest cows, right? Okay, before I sign off, I did want to say, if I missed your question tonight, shoot me an email. I'm going to remove this claim form because I I do the best I can for, where is the, where's my email? Here it is. I do the best I can for answering all the questions, but every week when I go back, because I do go back and watch my video. I go back and look at the comments, see who said what. Um, I um, I go back and look and I always see things that I wish I'd seen, like really important questions. And there was a couple questions that were asked on Friday that I really wish I had answered. I can't remember what they were. They went, it totally went out, uh, totally went out the window, but I wish I could answer them. <laughs> so if I missed your question, I'm rattling again. Here's my email, and I will do my best to answer you. Is there a smudge? Oh, no, that's the backing to the um, Velcro dot, right? Okay, so I'm going to sign off. I will see you guys again next Tuesday for our regularly scheduled live video. Like I said, the PDF and everything will be posted tomorrow. Maybe it depends on how well my... CAT scan goes. If that stuff makes me sick, oh, I just can't imagine drinking 32 ounces of yucky contrast. Um, if I don't get it out tomorrow, it'll be Thursday. Yeah, Thursday for sure. Um, I'm going to try to do it tomorrow. Okay, y'all have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Good night.